Hello guys, it is Lucas the Transformers Blitzwing fan here, and today I am finally back with another Transformers retrospective. It is time to finally get down into a Decepticon that I don't think I had done a retrospective of. This is the retrospective of the Brutalist Bounty Hunter. The bounty hunter of the Decepticons and is now out for himself in Transformers Age of Extinction, Lockdown. Now, the original Lockdown that would become the character was introduced into 2008 Transformers Animated. This version of Lockdown, a bounty hunter that works for the Decepticons, his, um, let's see, Lockdown worked for Megatron, and what he did in this series was he takes out Autobots and takes their weaponry or anything they have as trophies. And sure enough, I think he captures the Autobots and then kills them. And I'm not too sure if Lockdown was defeated, but Lockdown was soon defeated by Optimus Prime and Prowl. Then the very next version of Lockdown was introduced for 2014's movie, fourth Transformers film, Age of Extinction. This version of Lockdown, kind of like a bounty hunter, but very different in design, as you can see by the image. He is not an Autobot or Decepticon in this version. He's out there hunting for himself. And however, um, Lockdown is hunting for the Autobots and humans, however, helping him after what happened in Chicago in the third movie, Dark of the Moon. And unfortunately, while with the humans, Lockdown turned into his gun mode and shot Ratchet. And the humans, however, injured Ratchet pretty bad. Lockdown comes into the scene, tells Ratchet that you Autobots and Decepticons are like little children, always fighting, making a mess of the whole universe, and then I've got to clean it up. And then he then says to Ratchet that there's only one way you live. Tell me where he's hiding. Where is Optimus Prime? However, Ratchet, unwilling to give up his leader's location, telling him, I'll never tell you, Lockdown reaches deep into Ratchet's chest and pulls the spark out from his very eyes and kills him. However, Optimus Prime, now mad at Lockdown for killing Ratchet, he decides to take revenge on Lockdown. And by the end of the movie, Lockdown is battling Optimus Prime, and he thinks he's going to kill him. However, with the help of Bumblebee and Cade, Optimus Prime was able to take the sword that got stuck into him, slice it through Lockdown, and permanently killing him by cutting him into two pieces. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you like subscribe, and turn on that bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace, y'all, peace.